Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to If on a Winter's Night for Travelers Part A Two. Today we'll be going on with the second act, the vanishing of one Miss Valerie Um Whatever was her name, I can't remember her right now. I just read it and I can't remember it. But we're we'll gonna be go we're gonna be going forward with the second act. As I said in the first episode, this is gonna be a series of four videos, each one doing one of the acts. So this is gonna be the second one. I hope you guys are excited for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the first one as I did. I'm very excited about what's to come. And if you are new around here, remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. It's always absolutely free, and you can always change your mind later on. And always and forever, remember to ring and add to cowbell. Now let's crack on with the second act then. Well, good morning, ma'am. Seems like you have just gotten up, and it was very much raining. Oh, have I been sleeping? It's dark. It does seem dark. If I close my eye, can I can almost hear... Hear what, though? Picture frames, okay. Or picture frames, sorry, not pictures of frames, but... <laughs> picture frames, actually. Oh, did there used to be faces here? Huh. No light. It hurts. Okay, so it seems like you have a... Bit of a headache. Glass decanter with laudanum. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. But there's not much left. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Ma'am, are you okay? On our armoire. Are you okay, ma'am? There are... These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? Outside? But but it is yesterday. I, can, I cannot go outside when it's yesterday. Okay. No. No. Okay, so no mirror, I suppose. Uh, ma'am, are you okay? A hanging cloth. Quiet now. Ma'am, are you okay? A ball of yarn. Oh, it's uh, Laura Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Oh, maybe he got caught outside in the rain. It's hard to see anything from here. Okay. The level of creepiness has gone up a little bit with this lady right here. Just saying. Okay. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something? Okay, so we go to outside then. Go to the outside then. It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. Uh-huh, we're uh, with what though? Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Yes, it is. you have been sleeping, ma'am. You have. Alright, let's take out something from the armoire. Armoire, I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> what was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Alright. Drink your medicine, ma'am. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Oh, what was that? Okay. I'm scared for this woman. A letter from Lord Cavendish? What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss? My most sincere condo? What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Huh. Sylvia, where are you? The housemaid should be here, in her chambers. It's a heavy door. Heavy door. Have I mentioned that it's a heavy door? Uh, I was gonna say the music is getting really quiet, but not anymore. What is this? I hear voices. Oh, she's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Hmm. Distorp the shadows? We need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. This hanging cloth. What is this, though? Well, something not quite here. Something's not quite here. Some fading memory. I, I can't remember. A dusty vase. 
Oh, the window. It feels like it's inside my head. Well, it doesn't seem like I can move out to... Oh. Is this something? No, it doesn't seem like it's something. The, the, the music is just... So... Fucking... Creepy, to be honest. Huh. Something not quite here. Okay, so I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. How am I gonna do that? Shh. Okay. No, she doesn't want to look at herself in the mirror. Seems like. Huh. Dusty vase. A lamp. The heavy door. Doesn't seem like I can go anywhere else. Or do anything else. But what matters? Unless I have to pick something up? We should have been here. I shouldn't touch it yet. What if this is all that's left? No light. It hurts. A short nap will do me no good, but first my medicine. But the medicine isn't there. Alright. Did he used to be faces here? Trip cloth, the armor. Yes, I'll change. I'm just too tired now. Okay. We should have been here. Right. I'm very confused. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I need to find a way to get through this door, apparently. But I don't seem to understand how. <laughs> um, where is he? Where could he be? Are you talking about the cat, or...? Are you talking about the cat, or who are you talking about, dog? I'll get changed later, yes, or tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. Right, um... If I can close my eyes, I can almost hear. Draped cloth. Okay, so this seems like it's a piano, then. I, I, I guess I can't make this shape out, to be honest. Um, hmm. Hmm. What do I do here? I'm very much confused. Can't turn on the lamp. Oh, there's a book here. Some moldy old book. An ornate glass. Oh, but just put... Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Right? That's how that shit works. The door itself, it's probably too thick. But maybe... If you do it on the wall, though... Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. But what about the laundry and consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in... Oh, that's the woman, I think. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in a cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock's strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. Oh. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me? It should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. Oh, uh, so she's not in good health, number one. He's trying to help her. Kinda, not really. And some people think she's dead. Alright. I can dig that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, Valerie, just take your meds, ma'am. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it was an ARP, not a... Okay. Oh, but she's okay now. Oh, my favorite bedside book. Process à la recherche du temps perdu. At don't ask me to speak French, I don't know how to do that. As soon as I read two pages, I start dozing off. Henry protested at first about including Laura's socks in that portrait. But if I am a Winterborn, then so is she, then so is he. Oh, she took her medicine and everything went just... Happy and nice and good. Again. Some family pictures. Three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Mama and I in Vienna, April 1926. 
I met an eye in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records from my gramophone on these trips. Trips, listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. He should be here any time. If I catch him just when he's arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. It was an ARP. I thought it was a piano, but apparently it was an ARP. Would you look at that? I want you to place it. Okay. Okay. Okay, lady. Okay, lady. <laughs> the most wistful of memories. Monsieur Satir was a true master of melancholy. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. Well, good, good to think that you are then. This is the cat here all over the carpet, as per usual, huh? Oh, I look just fine. Okay, it is so warm outside, I don't need anything else. Alright, let's go to the hallway then. Let's go outside. Seems like we uh, have some business outside. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trip, we barely get any time together lately. Wait, that's his study? Didn't you say that that was the maid's quarter or stuff? Oh, now I can move through here. Would you look at that? Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. I never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was uh, old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. Alright, we're going to the parlor. Because I'm gonna get more shit for myself. I, uh, I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs anyway? Uh, I'm not sure. Was I not going back to my room? No, you were going downstairs. I, where am I? Wait, was I going No, you were... We were going... Okay. We were going downstairs, ma'am. We were gonna go get that key and the medicine and, and all that crap. What you doing? We're not going back to the room. Oh, but there's some paintings here, though. Dear Kwan Papa, Bubus, he believed in me when nobody else did. My little cousins from Amiens, I miss them so much. Mom and Dad, oh how they hated posing for this. Think that painting, they think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it's so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. I didn't mean to click on that again. You say? A class in King Huawei's from the Ming period, invaluable. And one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Ah! This beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. Just a personal trifle next to the family's treasure, of course, but very dear to me nonetheless. Huh, huh. Okay, so I guess uh, going back to the room, even though I wasn't originally going back to the room. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. And everything is fading out again. Do we take more medicine then? It's empty. I'll get more tomorrow from the cabinet in the parlor. Alright, then let's just go to bed, I guess. Huh. Ma'am, are you okay? No, she is not okay. Doesn't seem like she's okay. She is in very much not okay. Oh, her hair is down and she looks... It's a little worse than before, I'm not gonna lie. Are you okay, ma'am? Doesn't seem like you're okay. It really doesn't. Oh, another envelope. Okay. What is this? Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deepest condolence. I can, but there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about what precious that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Behind, if I, besides, she has the, ca the key to the cabinet. I was going too far. I am as outraged as she is, because I was going way too fast fucking, <laughs> fucking talking like that. Alright, we're gonna go find the maid. 
We're gonna find some fucking answers. That's what we're gonna do. I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Maybe they're hiding from me. Whispering in the dark. How dare they? Still furious. How dare they not open the door? The glass is cracked. Oh no, the precious vase. Well, not vase. The precious glass, I suppose, but still. That was a token from their love and their honeymoon in Venice. My goodness gracious. Alright, I suppose I'm going downstairs this time. To the parlor. Uh, I'm trying to make a joke not just because it, I think I'm funny, but also because I'm kind of creeped out. Can't stop thinking about those outraging letters. The famous Ming base. You'll see what I think about that Ming base. Oh, she gonna break it. She gonna break it. Oh, no. And I'm gonna help her. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna help her. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go find it. There you go. Is this the face he was talking about? Yeah, smash it. Is she transparent? Is it just me or is she kind of getting transparent? I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as badly as a whole vase. Yeah! Putain de machde! Which means thing of shit, by the way. Piece of shit, basically. That's what it means in French. Well, there goes the vase. Good. Did something fly out of it or. I guess it didn't, though. No. no, it didn't, actually. Trying to click on it, but it's hard. Good. Yeah, nothing flew out of it. In my humble opinion. Good. Alright, what do I do now then? What good would it do anyway? There's no one there. Alright, let's go to the parlor now. Now that I cracked the vase, let's go to the parlor. Let's get some more medicine. I swear I look I swear she looks transparent. I don't know if it's just me. I actually don't know if it's just me, but she looks hella transparent. Just saying. Alright, we're going to the parlor. Everything looks like shit. Rest, maybe later. There used to be flowers here. The bookshelf. Books and more books. One another. Prophet's Paradise. Paradise. A treaty on clocks without fear and wind of vertigo. Poetry. What good has it ever done? Oh, interesting. My money should be in the cabinet. But I need to find the key, don't I? There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Okay, but with what, ma'am? Ah, uh, the pokers. Hmm, there you go. We're smart. We're smart up in here. Fire porker. P poker. <laughs> Yes, this will work. Po poker. Poker. I don't know why I said porker, pork, 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 pork. Whatever. <laughs> Just smash the motherfucker. Just do it. And yeah. Alright, cool. Give me that shit. Ha. Huh, much butter, darling. Alright. Glass inside glass. To be admired from afar and not touch. What a sad fate. True. It, it, True, that's one way of putting it, yeah. There are some interesting book here. Uh, what do you have to say about it now? The Prophet's Paradise. Far afield a woman cried. I would kill him I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. That's dark. Okay. Okay. What is this? What is this book doing here? Fucking you ask me, it's your house. A treaty on clause. What are those awfully boring technical books that Harry's dads like to keep around? Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded with buster statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of 7 minutes while reference against okay. Well, of course, unacceptable. <laughs> Fucking clock. The smell of flesh flowers in the morning is one of the life's subtle pleasures. Uh, we turn in the fireplace on, ma'am? That would be a pretty good idea. All things considered. A cat purring on your lap, the sound of locks clack cracking. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. Oh, I can go to the foyer. What is a foyer? 
It sounds like the servants are talking in the floor, but I do not need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop. It's rude. Okay, now you don't want to eavesdrop. Okay. My gramophone. 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 There you go. My gramophone. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with my man. What shall I play first? Three old Viennese dances by Fritz Kaisler, Parigi Okada by Giuseppe Verdi, my New York. Oh, let's do this one. Let's see how it sounds. Scandalous! Oh, I love this one. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, okay, I dig it. What should I play after this? Uh, do Viennese dances. Yeah, shake it when you got it, girl. Shake it while you flaunt it. Such a delicate piece. Why is her neck doing this, though? <laughs> uh, let's do Prodigy Okada. Let's just play all of them, basically. Let's just play all of them, see what they have. Hmm. Dum da dee, dum da dum. Is it playing? It is, actually. I think that was the last one. But this is not the way it happened. My trips from a man. I need to remember. What do you mean this is not how it happened, man? A table clock. What do you mean this is not how it happened? It's a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs. Oh, shit, what did it say? It is a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding, and the key is missing. Without fear of wind and vertigo. And so you see this novel so tightly interwoven with the sensations solely riven by bottomless charms, as if the claim to portray vital fullness, fullness revealed the void beneath. Huh, I'm not familiar with this author. Italian? Sounds very modern. Ah, okay, so go to the first floor? Let's go to the hallway, I suppose. Maybe I can talk to the maid this time around. Yeah. Unless there's no one there, again. But maybe I can... Ah, uh, maybe there's something in the room. Maybe. It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry's in his study. But I haven't heard his car arrive yet. But must be deja vu. You think, man? You think? I haven't seen Laura's socks in a while. Huh. There are some... These are some of my favorite family photographs. Oh, this, I just, I already read this. Though. I dreamed that I was dreaming. Why is he taking so long? It's going to get dark. Um... Huh. Alright, let's go to the parlor again, I suppose. I have nothing to do out here. I'd rather listen to some music. But I we already did that though. Man. Alright, so I listened to all three records again and it goes back to that, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. I did that again and it, I waited each record to play for at least a minute and then nothing happened. So I actually running out I'm just running out of ideas. Some photographs of my f okay, my man and I, my man and I, my man and I. Oh, I have to do it. Oh, hold on. Paris, then Vienna, then New York. Okay. So maybe I have to play them in that order. Oh wait 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 wait. wait. Maybe not in the order she says it. But in the order of year. That could be it. That could be it. Alright, so. Paris. Paris. Par Paris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Ah, fudge. What did I click? No, hold on. I messed it up. And last. The Vienna one. See if this worked. What is this? It worked, nice. Bon song, it's so great. What on earth was that? It worked. Aha! Uh -huh. 
It was the year, it was the order, but on the years, not the word that she says it. Okay. I don't know why it took me that long to figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why it took so long for me to figure that one out. <laughs> but I got it, I, I figured it out, I figured it out. Alright. I'll go into the room. And... bed. In I am, in fact, feeling a bit indisposed, but something is not right here. What is not right, little dog? Some lovely family photographs. Where is he? It's getting dark. My harp! Who did this? Oh, true. Shadow, it's, it's wrong. Ugh. Oh, no, not again. It is slipping through my fingers. It's calm, but maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There is always music tomorrow. She's transparent, y'all. I keep saying it. She's fucking transparent. And she just straight up collapsed. She's transparent, y'all. She she's transparent. I keep saying it. She she's fucking see-through. Alright. Another letter. She's she is feeling rough right now, calm down. Okay, what is this then? I need my medicine. But it's empty. Empty. What do I do then? Alright. Everything is just... Fragments of a vase. Did the maid knock it all over while cleaning? No, you you did that. Did Laura Socks do this? No, you did. I don't need them anymore. My medicine is downstairs. I am fearful for you, ma'am. I am quite fearful for you. Just putting it out there. Alright, let's go to the Paul Lul. Hmm. I did break this. Sh I did break this shit. So at least it, it remained broken, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's still here. All right? Is it gonna work? It is. Huh? Oh, the envelope fell. Where did this come from? It's a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He's a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Uh huh. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? I dream of holding your hand, yet a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did someone put opium tincture in the morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would have sent something like this. I must find the housemaid. Provide this. Since some lark of her, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. It's a foyer, now that I think about it. Why is this bro- what is this in the floor, actually? I do wonder, what's a foyer? <laughs> I keep saying the word, I keep hearing about it, I have no idea what a foyer is. It doesn't seem like the maid is here. Oh! Hello? But I heard voices. He seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck on three o'clock. Wait, I saw a key. Hmm, this key can also be used to wind the clock. Uh, don't you see the okay? Don't, okay, you don't you don't see her right there. Okay, okay. You don't see the spectrum right there in the middle of the flippant foyer in front of the. Okay, you don't see it. Okay, if you don't see it, that's fine. That's fine. I don't see it either. I don't see it either. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect. I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? It said that this one was stuck at 3 o'clock. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, come. I'm gonna get stuck again. <laughs> this one was set at 3 o'clock, but maybe I'm missing something else. Maybe I have to do something else before I set that clock. Like, go into the room with the crying specter again. Which, again, she just fails to notice, I suppose. Is that an issue of Polly's sword on that table? Or is the issue of her sword that feature our wedding? 
Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Vuvu's Charlie Empire, Mademoiselle Vadari Vuvu, to Henry Winterborn. Henry, Henry Winterborn, Lord Winterborn of Get of Chet and Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendship with avant-garde assets such as Germain Duloc or Fernand Laguerre well known, she declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's great green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborn family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. I could read this over and over. She doesn't want to go there, she just wants to keep reading it, okay. This one has been hard, y'all! <laughs> the first one wasn't that tough, the first one was pretty straightforward. This one has been... quite the comeuppance, I, I have to... yeah. All right, three o'clock. I don't know what I was expecting. And what time should I set? Okay, I, okay. So it does, it does work on the twenty hours, the twenty-four hour thing, I guess. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. <laughs> but for absolutely nothing, because I haven't been able to figure it out. <laughs> this has been pretty tough, y'all. This has been pretty tough one. Maybe I have to set this a bit before that, then. Like at two fifty nine? <laughs> don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. What happened here? Why has nobody taken care of this mess? Oh, now you see it. Okay. Now you see it. Okay. Now it's the same old books that they were here before that. Yeah. There has to be a clue in here somewhere. I just have to find it. Mm, what if I try this? Huh. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Eh? I don't know why I picked that. The fuck? <laughs> it's working again. The mechanism is sticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather's clock? Is it working too now? It's working too. Why was that the okay? Why was that the time? It was a random ass number. I thought maybe just before two, but instead of putting fourteen, I'll just put the two. The clock is working again, just like uh, I'm not sure now. Who was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Laura socks rushed in. The clock shimmed. He ran into the conservatory. What had that little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what's going on. Uh, can I go to the conservatory now? Now that we've... Like, fixed stuff and we can remember shit? Aha! Uh -huh. This is Ficus. I don't know much about these plants. The water looks so serene. Where's my mouse thing? Oh! Oh, I didn't see her down there! She just disappeared again! Possibly the best spot in the house. Oh, she just fell. She- oh. What the hell is going on here, man? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea, something I never did very often back in Paris. Okay. So many times I have sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. Ah, uh, she has blood. That's blood. Um, um, no, it, it's not blood. Not my bad. I thought that was blood. Never mind. <laughs> it looked like blood, but I guess that's not blood. I don't know. I'm so lucky to have my very own sanctus sanctum. Yeah. This baby Abby will soon start climbing the wall. I am a shrubbery. This foliage is so thick a tiger could hide in there. Oh, she's looking for something. Oh, she's running. She's running to the bushes. She was running to the bushes. Why was she running to the bushes, though? Ma'am. My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. Okay. 
White flowers. Uh huh. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Hey, hold on a second. The poem said, kill the one she loved, spraying blood on the white flowers with gold hearts and shit. Hold on a damn second. She's just looking for something inside, huh? A cat? Maybe? I don't know. Did I see something move there? Uh, no, no, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. Right, so what I think is that I have to start from this part and then just go around. Basically, like, it feels like it's a sequence. So, we're gonna do this, where she starts looking here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, she goes this way. Uh-huh. Then it goes to the shrubbery. And then she chases across over there. Uh huh. She goes across. There was something here stirring the leaves, and suddenly a blur, a chase, the clicking sound of porcelain. Here? Right? She, she catches something. Yes. Right, right, right. Here, a scream of pain, red streaks. Then knuckles hit white like snow, hence so cold. So cold. Then the white flowers. Nope, never mind. Then the pond? Maybe that one? Oh dear, no. Aha! I think I got it. Hold on, I think I got it. Right? The water is no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? Then the bench. Uh-huh. Where she's just bawling her white eyes out, by the way. Her eyes are white for some reason. It is stronger here. Right? What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. With those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water. I could have sworn I felt... Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. Oh no. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Grab the umbrella, this should work, there you go. Yeah, yes, 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 I am. <laughs> I've been doing. I've been going at this for like an hour now, <laughs> but I think I finally cracked it. I think so, anyways. All right. What are we pulling out here? Oh no, the cat! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see the anything? Where is everybody? Help! I, I must find help! More socks! Help! I must find help! I will say that that... That scared the shit out of me. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Huh? What the... Ma'am? Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the party soir. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chet uh, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed on the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur, the chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, Henry? Dead? But this is absurd. He, he's here, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it, he, he must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in the study, he's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him, I need to see him right now.
That's why she killed the cat. That's why she killed the cat. The cat got in front of the car and he got into an accident and now she killed the cat. Oh no, and everything is turning dark as she's walking. And it's trembling and can't rest. Oh god, I am scared of seeing what's inside, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry? What what have they done to you? She never left the house. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it, but it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. Ah, she got cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We're going to Paris, my love. Uh, ma'am, I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. She's... okay. No more sleep. No more dreaming. But where's your medicine, though? All oh, the, the... the paintings are on the floor. You would have understood. You would have forgiven. Hemian seems so far away now. Flickering like the roll of a film. Mom, Dad, I'm barely here anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, uh, that one came out of left field, though, Vivian. Oh, wait, what the hell? Another one of those awful letters? Uh, no. Don't think so, dog. No, it's... It's an invitation. To a mask ball? How delightful! Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This will be my mask, then. This would be my mask, then. So beautiful. Oh no. She OD. She she died. She did. And I was expecting Harry to meet me here yet. I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent this invitation? Interesting. I've been asking myself the same question. And with that. Ah, this video is done for. <laughs> My goodness gracious, this took a long time. In between me not figuring it out and um, external things. But that was a chill experience. Um, I loved it, actually. <laughs> as uh, difficult as it could have been, I thought that it was great. Hella different from the first one. Hella, hella different from the first one, but just the the build up, the the music, the the, the everything, just the the everything was just amazing, great, a, a work of absolute art. I love this. I am so happy that I started playing this game. I cannot tell you. Um, as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description below, and to the creator as well. Uh, as well as my social media, Twitch, all that stuff. Uh, but no, for real, go check this game out. Like, <laughs> I, I, I would love for you guys to experience this for yourselves. This was just the 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 ah. <laughs> yeah. Just go play it. Just literally, just go play it. I loved it. It was amazing, and I am in love, and I.
cannot wait to keep playing this. So with that being said, thank you so much for being here uh, for part two. We'll be back later with part uh, three, act three. I'm very excited. We shall see how that goes. We shall see if it's as difficult as this one. Um, but yeah, no, just <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new around here, remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. It's always free, and you can always change your mind later on. And remember to always send forever ring of that cowbell. And I'll see you guys on Act 3. Love ya.